get into hip replacements and some of the reasons for it. And this hour, we're going to talk about a couple of conditions such as arthritis, hip dysplasia, a vascular necrosis, injury, and bone tumors. Now, would you say arthritis is the most common of all these conditions? Yeah, so when we're talking about degeneration of the joint, one of the most common ones is arthritis or the regular wear and tear of the joint that is age-related and uh, pretty much genetically predisposed. So what affects the different bones that cause arthritis? So when we talk about arthritis, what we're really talking about is degeneration of the articular cartilage or the cushioning of the joint. When, okay. the, art when the cushioning of the joint wears out, for any of the reasons that you just mentioned, then it starts rubbing bone on bone and that creates pain and stiffness and that's what brings people to see us. Uh, Dr. Suarez, is it also an age uh, factor component to it? Well, the, the regular arthritis or the osteoarthritis or the regular wear and tear, that's pretty much age related. Mm -hmm. You know, we see that uh, prevalence in, uh, <clears throat> in, in older patients but there's also a significant genetic predisposition to these patients to develop arthritis. Okay, so you mentioned osteoarthritis. There's also rheumatoid arthritis, correct? Mm -hmm. And then there's also tra traumatic arthritis, yeah. I believe? So in, rheumatoid arthritis is a category within inflammatory arthritis. There's conditions okay. in the body like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, that is the, your body attacking its own body and it attacks the joints and those are called inflammatory arthritis and, and it breaks down the cartilage and rheumatoid arthritis is part of that. And then traumatic arthritis is when you have a fracture or trauma that the insult of the trauma is the one that degenerates the, uh, the joint itself.